Hello, this is the uh, first video in a series that we'll be dealing with uh, how to use Pipe 2000 to calibrate a water distribution system. And in order to illustrate the application of Pipe 2000 model calibration, we have constructed this simple 16 pipe system uh, that has been saved with the name Implicit. Uh, so you can get this off your regular data disk. Uh, this system shown here on the screen, we have set up uh, for two different fire flow tests. The first fire flow test was constructed down here at junction 3 and this was set up during a slack demand period where the tanks were both full and the demands were equal to 50 percent of the average day demand and during the fire flow test uh, we had a discharge of 900 gallons a minute observed here at junction 3 with a residual pressure of 14.4 psi. The second fire flow test that we are assuming is up here at junction number 7 and we're assuming that that was uh, measured during a peak demand period where the tanks were empty essentially at an elevation of 190 feet with the demands equal to 200% uh, of uh, the average day demands or characterized with a global demand factor of 2.0 and during the fire flow test we had a observed discharge of 1750 gallons per minute and then a residual pressure of 15.4 psi. Once we have uh, got our data that we're going to use in our calibration we need to set this up in the computer program and the, the way that we need to do that is to first um, input the boundary conditions for both fire flow tests. This is done uh, via the normal change submenus in the setup defaults menu. So if we will go to that menu and then go to our change patterns uh, you will be able to see here that we've got two sets of changes change one and change two change set one has been set up to establish the boundary conditions for our first change which corresponds to the uh, first fire flow test where both tanks were full at an elevation of 210 feet and then for change number two which corresponds to our second fire flow test uh, we have uh, demands of a hundred uh, or tank levels rather of 190 feet. Uh, in addition to this menu here we also need to establish the actual demands at each of those fire flow tests. Again at the first fire flow test here we have a slack demand of 0.5 and during our peak demand period we have a global demand of 2. So with that information there, we're then ready to uh, establish how we want to proceed with our calibration. And one of the first things we'll need to do is tell the program which pipes do we want to calibrate relative to the actual observed data. And the way we'll do that is to assign pipes to individual uh, calibration groups for that process. Uh, to explain that, we can look at uh, the second video in this series, which is entitled uh, cal2.avi